Triple A Credits are right Hang up the phone And let your heart break On the inner lane 24 twice She's on the phone But she's staying on Will Shop Boulevard Old dreams dying hard We want you to return This love Breathing In the dark Weightless working hard We want you to return His love guys welcome back to my channel last week I didn't post a video or vlog or anything just because I was trying to get into the groove of all of this um, this year looks a lot different from last year so I am trying to get used to it and trying to really get the hang of it so now that I feel like I'm getting the hang of it I finally picked up my camera today and decided I will take you along the day with me So today is Monday, um, September 28th. Um, it is finally fall, so I am going to be decorating the classroom with just a whole bunch of fall decor. Um, I got these from Target. They were five bucks each, so I got this color, this one, and I got the white one, and they look really good together. And then... I also got this from Target. This was $8 and it's just so cute. I might hang this up outside of my classroom. And then I also got this one. No, actually someone gave this to me last year. So <laughs> I brought it to my classroom and it just says, welcome fall. So cute. Right now they're delivering our breakfast. So the way that they do that is they put all of our breakfast into like a really big basket. Um, for each of our classes and then they give us our roster with everyone that ordered breakfast so we just give it to our students as they walk in then after breakfast we just clean and wipe down their desk and they get sanitized and then we can get started on our morning work so I am going to put our morning work on the board and get everything ready and I will see you guys later <laughs> I also have like little tape of where they're supposed to stand in line um, but today I'm going to replace it with some like affirmation cards. I realized my nudes letter <laughs> says November 2nd <laughs> instead of October 2nd. I am way ahead of myself. <laughs> so I do feel a little silly <laughs> that I just decorated my room with like fall decor and pumpkins and all that stuff. And it is 82 degrees outside with 86% humidity. I had to take off my sweater because it is that hot. <laughs> my students this morning just finished taking a math quiz, um, but it was nice that we didn't have a lesson to do afterwards. So I kind of just let them chill after a quiz um, while I finished grading. Um, the reason why I grade like as soon as they're finished their quiz they turn their quiz over and I'll pick it up and I'll start grading it just because every single time I have picked up quizzes there's always students that either skip a question on accident or um, they'll just do something funky where I'll have to like give them their quiz back um, and I like doing that right away rather than like a week later <laughs> so I always grade their quiz right then and there my students last year loved it because they wanted to immediately know what their grade was and i would always tell them so um i didn't have a problem telling them what they made on their quiz right after just because they do get to bring their quizzes home a week after so they bring their quizzes home every tuesday so so today's monday and they're taking their quiz but they're not going to get to see their quiz back 
till next Tuesday. So by next Tuesday, they're kind of over it. They probably don't care what they made because it's kind of just long ago. Um, so I like to tell them what they made and they like to know. And I also like to grade as soon as they're finishing up just because I'm able to give them back their quiz um, right away just in case they miss something or they forget to answer a question. So I feel like that's really helpful. And then I get grading over with, you know, so I never bring quizzes home to grade ever, not on the weekends, not even on the weekdays. Um, I just get it done right then and there. And they all finish at different times, so even that last person that's finished, I will still grade it and that person still has like five minutes to just do whatever they like. You know, I let them draw after their quiz if they want to just because they just took a quiz, you know? Um, it's kind of a big deal. So afterwards, I just let them kind of reward themselves by drawing, coloring, whatever they like. So I'm done grading, so that's nice. Um, so right now they're at PE, which I love that they have PE on Monday. Um, just because Mondays are like all of us just come in so tired, so quiet. And that's not a bad thing, of course, but I love it when they're like participating in my lessons and very excited about learning and on Mondays no one is they just come in super quiet so I like that you know it's only 10 o'clock and they're at PE and when they come back in we'll jump into social studies and I expect them to be a little bit more talkative a little bit more um just like into our lesson so right now I'm going to be putting some of these like um affirmation cards um, on the floor taping them down so that they know where to stand whenever we get in line because right now I just have some blue tape um, and they kind of like now they're kind of wrapped around my whole classroom whenever they line up because it's like it's like four to five feet apart um, <laughs> and like now my line isn't just a straight line it's like a big square <laughs> around my classroom the highlight of my morning was that one of my students picked this from our front yard and gave it to me. I think I'm aware of my hair. Alright you guys, I made it home. Today was one of the better Mondays. Um, it wasn't too bad. I really am getting used to everything that is expected of us. Um, let me adjust this. They did really good on our quiz today, um, which made me really happy. There's so much that I want to tell you guys that I always end up forgetting when I'm in the classroom. Um, and I'm always like trying to talk low because I don't really want people to know that I'm vlogging for some reason. Um, and then it always comes back to me. But but um, in case you're wondering, my school is 30 minutes away from my house. So um, I do have a little bit of a commute, but it's not that bad because it gives me some time to think. Like in the morning, I'm usually either on the phone with David um, it also gives me some time to like think through my whole day to like go over it in my head um, and then you know gives me some time to pray and talk to God and stuff like that and then on my way home I usually call David again and um, we talk about our day and then it lets me like go over the day in my head again like how did today go like what could have gone better um, you know, and then so when I'm on the phone with David too, I'm always telling him stories of the day and stuff like that. So I don't mind my commute. I know a lot of people, whenever I tell them, you know, my job is, my school is 30 minutes away from me, they kind of like freak out. But to me, it's not really a big deal. Um, 
unless there's like a long meeting after school, which there was today, <laughs> and then I kind of hit traffic. So that's the only sucky part, but other than that, I always leave like right after school, so I never usually hit traffic. I wanted to vlog last week, but I really wanted to prioritize like getting good with everything. And, you know, I was talking to David about it and he was just like, tell him how it is, you know, but I don't want to come off as negative. You know, I don't want to talk about how hard it is. And in reality, it's, it's not hard. It's just a lot. You know, there's just a lot has been added to our plate. And so not hard, just a lot. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I don't know. I just never, I don't want to come off as someone who is complaining but I also don't want to fool you guys into thinking that this teacher life is easy and glamorous and all about flare pens and outfits of the days and because it's not. <laughs> um, those are just like a few perks to make the job make us feel a little better. But it is a lot of work. And sometimes I get like DMs or comments from you guys saying like, you inspire me to go back to teaching or you inspire me to be a teacher one day and sometimes I'm like, oh snap, <laughs> like it's hard work. <laughs> um, I guess I, I don't want to fool you guys into thinking, yay, it's all fun and yay kids. Um, but it is a lot of work. It's just one of those jobs that requires a lot of you and it requires you know some hours in your evening or um some hours in your weekends like it's not just like a nine to five and then you go home and you don't have to think about work but instead it's more than nine to five <laughs> um and then you come home and you still have to think about it you still have to plan for the next day so ow. but yeah that's um just a little bit of the real side for you. Um, no negativity here and no complaining here. Um, just know that it is a lot of work. And here's just like a wild idea that I hope one of you guys run with. Um, you know, teachers aren't getting paid more this year, even though we're doing a lot more work. <laughs> um, but I think it would be really cool if teachers got free massages. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> if one of you guys want to run with it, that would be awesome. Teachers need free massages. Anyways, that's just my input for today. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Good night. <laughs>